So, I'm not wearing pink in this review. Mainly because it's Friday, and it's not Wednesday. And also, I don't have a pink shirt. Actually, that may be the main reason why. So, Mean Girls was directed by Arturo Perez Jr. and Samantha Jane. And it stars Andre Grice, uh, Renee Rapp, uh, Bebe Wood, Ali Carvalho, Tina Fey, Tim Meadows, Busey Phillips. A whole bunch of people appear in this movie. And it's an adaptation of the Broadway musical, which itself was an adaptation of the 2004 movie. And in this movie, if you have not seen Mean Girls at this point, Katie is a girl who lives in Africa, but when her parents transfer back to the United States, she enrolls in a high school where she gets involved with a bunch of cliques, particularly the popular girls at school known as the Plastics, and chaos ensues as she kind of learns more and more about like what's going on at this school. So this is a movie that I was not looking forward to in one bit. I do enjoy Mean Girls. That movie surprisingly has had a big influence on my generation. Not necessarily with me, but I still think the movie's enjoyable enough. I do think the cast is pretty good, particularly Lindsay Lohan, Rachel McAdams. Um, everyone in that movie is pretty fantastic. Even the adults are fantastic. And the movie itself does try to have a nice message about, you know, not being mean to each other. While still kind of being mean throughout it, but that's beside the point. But I was not looking forward to this movie because, first off, I had not seen the Broadway musical. And two, the trailers themselves didn't really show off the fact that it was a musical. I knew that it was. But it just kind of looked like it was just a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the original movie. And it seemed like it was just line for line at times. And it's just... I just wasn't interested. I was really not looking forward to this movie. And honestly, the movie itself is not bad by any means. But it's also not great either. If you really love Mean Girls, like if you're a diehard Mean Girls fan, you'll probably enjoy this movie. If you're like me, you're a casual fan, you do like it, but you do see some issues with it, then this movie may not please you as, as much. I'll get into that. But let's start off with the stuff I do like, to be fair. There are decent performances in this movie, particularly Renee Rapp as Regina. I thought she was really good. I thought her singing was really good. I definitely bought the evil side of Regina a little bit in this movie. I thought she was really good. Avantika, who plays the new Karen in this movie, I thought she did a really good job. I thought she was pretty funny. Uh, Busey Phillips, I thought she was really good in this movie too. Angelique Grice, I thought was pretty good in this movie. A lot of the actors are really good in this movie. No one in this movie gives a bad performance. Some, I admit, are a little underwritten, which I will talk about. But everyone tries to bring their A game and it does work out. Uh, there is there are decent musical numbers in this movie, particularly like there a lot of them are in one take, which I do find very fascinating. Well, maybe not necessarily in one take, but it does look like it is in one shot for a lot of the time. Like there's one that Janice has towards the end of the movie, which is in, which looks like a one take, but it isn't. There's also one that's like around Halloween that also looks like a one take, but again, it probably isn't. It's still impressive, but kind of loses a bit of it where it's like okay we see the cuts and such but it's still impressive that you try to make it look this way and admittedly there are a few funny moments here and there there are some decent moments in this movie where it's like it kind of like takes something from the original and kind of like twists it in a way but it still kind of remains true to the original in a way like mainly towards the end of the movie which i won't spoil but they do work out i do think they're really good and also there's a lot of use of social media in this movie maybe not too much but it's like the use of social media is pretty effective in this movie. It's not a lot, but it's there. And definitely kind of like fits into the Mean Girls uh, storyline a lot in this movie. And admittedly, I was kind of worried with this movie too that maybe it was going to be a little too PC. Because admittedly, the original Mean Girls is not very PC. So I'm curious to see like how this movie kind of like did that. Kind of like try to bring some of that into 2024. And surprisingly, the movie is not too PC. It's not terribly mean either, so... I guess it's a little nice balance where it's like, hey, you're not going for, you know, just cheap shots or anything. But at the same time, you're not like just not being PC. It's like it's just kind of like in that happy center there. I will admit there is a great cameo towards the end of the movie, which if you have seen the movie at this point, you probably know what it is. It's nice. It's sweet. It's effective. And I just I just got a nice smile on my face while watching it. But let's talk about the stuff I don't like in this movie. And there is a lot I don't like in this movie. Particularly the fact that a lot of the movie just feels just line for line from the original. It's not just like, you know, a lot of the quotes uh, from the original movie, but it's like even like deep cut quotes. Like there are so many lines where it's like, yeah, that's just from the original movie too. Like, okay, so they have like, you know, get in loser, we're going shopping, um, you know, that's so fetch. 
Uh, she doesn't even go here. They have a lot of those lines in this movie, but they have so many lines to this movie that even I know about. Like, uh, like there's a scene towards the end of the movie. Again, spoiler, if you have not seen Mean Girls at this point, uh, the 2004 version, but it, this movie is just basically the same. There's even deep cuts where it's like, that's just line for line what you did from the original movie. Like, it just does not work. Like, it just kind of, like, annoyed me, like, how many times I'm listening to it, and I'm like... That's just straight from the original movie. Now, again, this is an adaptation of the musical, so maybe that's what the musical is like. Doesn't really give it a pass if the musical's kind of doing the same thing, too, in my opinion. It's just kind of lazy. You could at least try something different, but no, a lot of the times it is line for line. And sometimes the characters kind of, like, say the lines, but they don't say the right inflection. It's just kind of like you're just repeating the same line without really understanding, like, why they said that line the way that they did. So it doesn't quite work as well. It just kind of annoys me. Just It just annoyed me throughout the entire movie. Whereas like every other scene just kind of felt like they were just saying the same lines over and over again. And I feel like I'm saying the same lines over and over again. So I'm going to move on. Now, also with the musical numbers, while some of them are really good, some of them kind of like move around too much. There's a lot of camera movement. Even though uh, Janice's number towards the end of the movie, I thought it was, she sung it really well, but at the same time, the camera's moving around so much, and there's so many moving pieces, I'm like, maybe you could slow down a little bit, and so we can see some of these things. I just wish we could see it a little bit more. It's clear that these directors kind of have a unique style, and I kind of want to see more of them, but maybe they should just slow down a bit. Just slow down for a minute. And... Also, it also kind of forgets it's a musical at times. Like, it goes, like, 20 minutes without a musical number and towards the middle of the movie, but then all of a sudden it returns for musical number. It's like, oh, right, it's a musical. Let's hear what this song is. And it's only 30 seconds long. It's like, okay. Kind of forgot it was a musical for a moment there, and you're going to make me forget it even more. Kind of boring. And also, it kind of annoys me. There are some returning cast members from this movie, like Tina Fey and Tim Meadows, who, again, do a good job in this movie. But, honestly, it just kind of annoyed me, whereas, like, some cast members return and some don't. Some of them do work, like Busey Phillips. Uh, she was a nice replacement for Amy Poehler. Jenna Fisher, I felt like she didn't really do too much as Katie's mom. So it's, like, kind of weird. It's like, why have some people return but have other people just not? That kind of felt weird to me. But... Mean Girls, again, if you're a huge Mean Girls fan, you'll probably enjoy this movie. But, again, someone like me who enjoys it but maybe is not, like, obsessed with it, it's serviceable enough. It's a little too line-for-line -line remake -y, along the lines of a Disney live-action remake. Again, not necessarily a remake of uh, the original movie, but an adaptation of the musical, so I'm trying to be a little more lenient on that. But, again, it just... That's just kind of, if you've never seen the musical but only seen Mean Girls the movie, then this movie might annoy you. So, even though there are decent performances and decent musical numbers and some funny moments, some genuine moments and a great cameo and uh, various moments here and there, it's like, okay, that's alright. It just bothered me that there was so many scenes where it's just straight from the original movie, like they literally ripped it out of the original movie and just put it in here. They don't kind of say it as well as they do in the original movie. There's so much camera movement at times, there's characters I felt like they didn't really need to do this, and like, uh, so many times where I'm watching it, I'm like, I should just be watching the original Mean Girls, because like, I enjoy that movie a little bit more than this. So, I'll give Mean Girls 2024 two and a half out of four stars, stream it. So, what movie did you enjoy that took place in a high school? Comment down below, subscribe to the channel, this is Pat, stay safe.